the Coptic Orthodox Church. We see uh, many people maybe uh, first time to attend Coptic wedding. Uh, it's not short. Uh, <laughs> and that's why we distributed the pages so you can follow with us in the prayers. Most importantly, in the Coptic wedding, it's not just few text or rubrics or uh, ritual that we finish. It is a prayer. So we are asking everybody who's attending with us to lift up your heart for them. Uh, we always say that this is the first time and maybe the last time that they hear prayers. Heaven is open for all your prayers to today for a whole hour from not one person or two persons from this crowd who's attending with us. So we're asking every person sincerely to pray for them so that God can give them long life. And in uh, Christianity, we have one marriage. As God <laughs> created Adam and Eve, so that's why we uh, spend time with them for more than one year. And uh, I made sure to give them very hard time, <laughs> but for their own benefit, they know this. Um, so I think they are prepared to uh, handle this responsibility and we thank the parents who raised them uh, Christian uh, fruits to the church uh, so that they also can take this deposit of faith and they can grow it and they can bring us saints to the church as well. As St. John Christom said, citizens of heaven, this is our ch children. We are asking all of you to share with us in the prayers. I think you can all uh, 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 follow up with the prayers on the screens or uh, it will be in English so you, it will be easy for you to follow. In the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the statute of perfection and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union on, of positions and the marriage of the blessed orthodox son Daniel to his betrothed, the blessed Orthodox daughter Amanda, in the name of Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God blessed, be God the Father, the Pantocrat. Lord, to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we give those who trespass against us. And is not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the stature of perfection and the author of the law of grace. We declare in this Orthodox Assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union of position and the marriage of the blessed Orthodox daughter Amanda to her betrothed, the blessed Orthodox son Daniel. Blessed be his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. to breathe thankfully our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread give us our trespasses as we give those who trespass against us these not temptation believe us and evil one in christ Jesus, our lord for thy kingdom the power of the glory forever Amen. in the name of our lord god and savior jesus christ founder of the statute of perfection and the author of the law of graces 
we complete in this Orthodox Assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union of possession and the marriage of the blessed Orthodox son Daniel to his betrothed, the blessed Orthodox daughter Amanda. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. So to pray thank for our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as you give those who trespass against us. He is not temptation, but deliver us the evil one in Christ. Jesus our Lord, thy kingdom, the power of the glory. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for He has covered us, helped us, guarded us, Accepted us to himself, spread us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pandocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. God the Bandocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything, for you have covered us, helped us, guard us, accepted us to yourself, spread us, supported us, and have brought us to this world. Hey, God, may have mercy and compassion upon on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all, all times, and that he may bless the wedding of Daniel and Amanda and forgive us our uh, 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 sins. Lord, Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O Lord of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of saying, the counsel of wicked men, the rising of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people. And from this bridegroom and bride, and from this your holy place, near this nanev, nimnit no bristanim, munajin, to be tucked in Bershishan, ani ovej, and the of nim yetchili, nimajen, tigum tears and tebiga. Oh, <laughs> 
O God, who formed man by his own hands and give him the woman for his help and strength, now also master be mediator for the groom and his helpmate, adjoin Daniel and Amanda through the pledge of fellowship and grant them the sign of their union so that through the bond of love they may be unified in harmony and say unto them my peace I give you both my peace I live with you both for you are the peace of us all unto you of a glory honor with your only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit, the giver of life. O Christ, the Logos, the Father, the only begotten God, grant us your peace with true love every joy. Jeff is brought in Jeviotimchir, remember now my soul. Now the prayer on the vestments, we close both of them, he becomes the priest of the house. So he wears like us as a priest, because he will lead the house in the life of prayer and purity and all good works and also amen. O Master Lord Jesus Christ our God, who ornamented the sky with the stars and adorned the earth with the splendor of the many different kinds of fruitful plants who granted humanity the heavenly things and bestowed upon it rest on the earth now also we ask O oh good one lover of mankind to bless these vestments so that they become for your two servants who will wear them through the pleasure of your goodness, vestments of glory and salvation. Amen. Amen. 
آمین بسم سوف جوین دل آیت آمین آمین پرزرف دن بوث پیور ان سول بادی ان سپیرت آمین آمین دد دیر لائف بی هلثی پیس فول ان چیست Through the act of righteousness, grant them both heavenly and earthly comfort, that they become rich through the acts of righteousness, fill their houses and storage places with all blessings. May they become worthy of doing your pleasure at all times for you. Our merciful Prince and mer mercy and righteous, to you due glory with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is oneness with you now at all times on the age of ages. Amen. <laughs> In the spiritual rain, men covers my call and the girdle all of jewels. My call has put on the raiment of chastity. Has been given to this bridegroom. And the crown of joy has been placed upon his head as it is said by my David, the psalmist, you have me glory and honor. A crown for joy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Ten wash them, Moko Bethesdos, Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God, a reading from the epistle of our teacher, Paul, to the Ephesians. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse, and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you, in particular, so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen.
Disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May you be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of you. Pray for the Holy Ghost For the mercy Send the 
star master all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Son of David, alleluia. Which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race hallelujah 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 your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of you, your house, your children like olive tree plants around your table. Alleluia, alleluia, oh, alleluia. in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher Saint Matthew. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. From the song of our teacher David the prophet. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house. Your children like olive plants all around your table. Alleluia. is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is the glory due forever and ever. came to pass when Jesus had finished these things that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan and great multitudes followed him and he healed them there the Pharisees also came to him testing him and saying to him is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason and he answered and said to them, Have you not heard that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. 
so then they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. Creator who are in heaven, the Lord of our forefather, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who created the heaven, the earth, and the sea, and everything therein, and ornamented them with your wisdom, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who made man in his image after his likeness, and placed him in the paradise of joy, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who created woman from Adam's side and gave her to him as a helper, fit for him we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Abraham and Sarah and made her a wife for him and granted him the title of head of all patriarchs, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who preserved Isaac and chose for him Rebekah and delivered him from his enemies, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Jacob and gave him Rachel as a wife and did grant them to be heirs of the promise, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who raised up Joseph and granted him a senat as wife, and through him you sustained all the land of Egypt, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who were pleased to be born of a virgin in in the fullness of time and enlighten mankind, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee, 
Bless this, ma this marriage as you bless that marriage. We beseech you to hear us. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O God, who transformed water into true wine by authority of his divinity, bless your two servants and purify them. With your love for mankind, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee and blessed that wedding and transformed water into true wine by the authority of his divinity, bless and guard this wedding of your two servants, Daniel and Amanda, in peace, harmony, and love. And protect them who ask you, O Lord, to hear us. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who are beneficent and, oh, and compassionate and full of goodness and affection, O God, make us glorify your goodness, O lover of mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O Christ, the Logos of the Father, the only begotten God, grant us your repeat, which is full of every joy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrat, creator of heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, the one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, who also incarnated the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and served with the day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures, has ascended in the heavens, he sits the right hand of his Father, and is coming in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O God, who is eternal and everlasting, who has no beginning, whose wisdom has no limit, and whose power has no end, who made man from the earth and gave him a woman out of his side, and accommodated her for him as a helper fit for him as it pleases your lordship and goodness because it is not good for a man to be alone we ask you lord now also our king to join your two servants daniel and amanda to be united to each other in one body and to enter into the law of joy and to abide in your truthful teachings Grant them a living fruit out of the womb so that they rejoice in the birth of good children and have quiet and peaceful times. Prepare them for every good work through Christ Jesus our Lord. As you have given to your holy apostles, likewise say unto us, my peace I give to you, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the one Creator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who anointed out of the fruit of the rich olive tree, priests, kings, and prophets, we peace each and entreat you, O good Lord, the lover of mankind, to bless this oil with blessings, so that it becomes 
and oil to sanctify your two servants. Daniel and Amanda, Amen. Amen. of righteousness and just, Amen. Amen. And anointment of purity and incorruption, Amen. Amen. Light and unfading beauty, Amen. Amen. Joy ornament and true comfort, Amen. Amen. Power of salvation and victory over all the deeds of adversary, Amen. Amen. Renewal and salvation for their souls, bodies, and spirit, Amen. Amen. Righteousness. With the fruits of God deeds, Amen. Amen. Glory and honor to your holy name with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is of one essence with you, now and forever and for an and edge of ages, Amen. Destroy the demons. This oil is against the evil spirits. This is the oil of Holy Spirit. This oil is against the impure spirit. Through Jesus Christ, the King of Glory, you have, you have anointed. anointed my head with oil, and your cup cheers my like the best wine. Your mercy will follow me all the days of my life. All the nations shall bless both of them, saying, So be it. Amen. Amen. May this oil destroy demons. This oil is against the evil spirits. This is the oil of Holy Spirit, this oil is against the impure spirits through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. You have anointed my head with oil, and your cup cheers me like the best wine. Your mercy will follow me all the days of my life. All the nation shall bless both of them, saying, So be it. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. O Lord, the God of hosts, whose mercies are countless, whose goodness is beyond comprehension, Accept our supplication unto you. Guard your two servants, Daniel and Amanda. Protect their unity. Keep their bed in purity. Fortify them by your pure angels. And send upon us from your prepared habitation a multitude of your compassions. Disperse our many iniquities by your goodness. And grant us also to be in the places of rest of your saints in the heavenly kingdom through your only begotten son jesus christ our lord to whom is glory with your holy spirit now forever the ages of all ages now we are praying on the crowns that we are going to place on their heads O holy God, who crowned the saints with unfading crowns and reconciled the heavenly and earthly, united them. O you, O Master, now also bless these crowns, which we prepared to be set upon your two servants, to be for them crowns of glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Crowns of blessing and salvation. Amen. Amen. Crowns of joy and happiness. Amen. Amen. Crowns of jubilation and delight. Amen. Amen. 
Crowns of virtue and justice. Amen. Amen. Crowns of wisdom and understanding hearts. Amen. Amen. Crowns of comfort and confirmation. Amen. Grant your two servants who shall wear them. The angel of peace and bond of love, deliver them from all evil thoughts and vile desires, deliver them from every weight of cunning and from every devilish hardship. Let your mercy be upon them, hear the voice of their supplication, set your fear in their hearts, manage their lives without delay unto old age, make them rejoice by beholding the sons and daughters whom they will beget. Make them useful in your one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Confirm them in the Orthodox faith to the end. Lead them in the way of righteousness through the pleasure of your good Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever unto age of ages. Amen. Bless the crown of By the way, what you just heard is a joyful cry. Please do not run outside and call 911, okay? <laughs> Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Please, O Lord, unto your two servant crowns of unvanquished grace. Amen. Amen. Crowns of elevated and everlasting glory. Amen. Amen. Crowns of unopposed and an attack good faith and bless and bless all their action. Amen. Crown them with glory and honor, O Father. Amen. Amen. Bless them, O only begotten Son. Amen. 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 
sanctify them, O Holy Spirit. Our Father Adam, Noah, Abraham, and Moses in the land of Midian, bless you, O bridegroom Daniel, and your helmet. May he who blessed Isaac, the beloved, and April, the first righteous, and Solomon and his father, and his father David, bless you, o bridegroom, and your helmet. May he who blessed our father Jacob and the righteous Joab bless you, so sevenfold, O bridegroom Daniel, and your helmet. Mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. May he who blessed our father Adam with Eve and Abraham with Sarah and Isaac with Rebecca bless this marriage. May he who blessed Jacob in his marriage and Hannah the mother of Samuel bless this marriage. May he who blessed Joseph with Asenath and Zacharias with Elizabeth and Mary, the mother of the bridegroom, and the rest of the blessed woman, bless this marriage. The cherubim worship him, and the seraphim glorifying him, proclaiming and saying, Holy, 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 the Lord among the thousands, you are crowned, O bridegroom, no men this assembly, at your right hand sits a virgin, whom the Lord might have spent apart from you in perfection, and purity from among the people of Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now since you have been present at this blessed time before the sanctuary of the Lord of hosts and his holy altar and this orthodox gathering, you have been joined by this blessed marriage and holy crowning according to this rite and this law. So also the rest of the fathers, the believers, took the wife in purity and cleanness for the sake of descendants and childbearing. So you should now, 
So also you should know each other's rights and submit yourselves to one another. Let each of you be faithful to the other according to our teacher St. Paul the Apostle when he said in the first Corinthians chapter 7, the wife does not have authority over her own body, but her husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Receive a bridegroom, a bride who is yours. Jesus Christ has given her to you. And at the hand of our fathers, the priest, he has presented her to you. And bless you, Lord, with his holy name. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Daniel, listen to me. My blessed son, Daniel, who is supported by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you are required to receive your wife, Amanda, at this blessed hour with a clear conscience, a pure soul, and a full heart. Daniel, excel in doing all that is good for her. Have compassion on her, and hasten to do that which gladden her heart. Today, Daniel, you are responsible for her instead of her parents. You have both been crowned with the heavenly crowning and the spiritual marriage. The grace of God has settled upon you. When you accept what has been commanded of you, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes, grant you a long age and prosperous life and prosper you and prosper your outcome in this life and the hereafter. Hear, O daughter, and see and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house Because your chastity has appealed to Daniel oh, And he is your husband and you said you will submit Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy Lord mercy. The command for the pride. And you, blessed daughter Amanda, and happy bride, you have heard what was commanded of your husband Daniel, so you are required to honor and respect him. Do not act against his opinion, but submit to him many times over what was commanded. For today, you are alone with him, and he is responsible for you instead of your parents. So, you must receive him with joy and cheer. Do not frown on his faith. Do not neglect any of his rights upon you. And fear God in all matters with him. Because God commanded you to submit to him and ordered you to obey him as your parents. So be with him as our mother Sarah was obedient to our father Abraham and used to address him, my Lord. Thus, God looked upon her <coughs> obedience to him, blessed her, gave her Isaac in her old age and made her offspring as the stars of heaven and the sand of the seashore. As you listened to what we commanded you to do, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, and bless will descend upon your home, and he will grant you blessed children by whom God 
will delight your eyes. Muqaddas wa jalil Sirul iklil Baraktahu ya ilahna Ibanu yil Barakat rabbina fi arsika Ana aljalil li dunia lalari Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Just to understand uh, the commandments said uh, to the groom and to the bride correctly, uh, this is part of uh, what St. Paul uh, had written and uh, we prayed it today to the Ephesians. He said, when he, St. John Chrysostom has a beautiful commentary on this. He said, why the bride is submitting to her groom, not as uh, uh, slavery. He said, because the groom shed his blood for her, as Christ shed his blood for his bride. What is the Christ's bride? the church all of you all of you are making the church so definitely when the bride sees the husband is shedding his blood is pouring himself for her nourishment and for uh, supporting her and leading her to eternity automatically she will submit him because she would see this great love as symbolic of what God did for us on the Holy Cross when he shed his blood for the life of the whole world. Now they are going to bow before the altar of God to uh, have the final blessings before they go in peace. Tfadl. May the Lord bless you, my brother uh, Daniel and bless your wife Amanda as he blessed Noah and his wife when they left the ark and populated the earth with their seed and as he blessed Abraham with Sarah and Isaac with Rebecca and Jacob in his marriage may the blessing of the Lord to his name be the honor at the wedding of Cana of Galilee settle upon you and your home unify you in harmony Create spiritual love in your hearts, sustain your livelihood, fill your house, and grant you a long age and happy life and blessed children. We ask him to accept from us the prayers of this blessed crowning. Reward us with the eternal for the temporal, the heavenly for the earthly, and forgive us our sins, iniquities, and transgressions, and keep away from us the traps and the cunning of the devil, the, ev the evil enemy. May he keep the rest of the brethren who attended with us with his protective right hand all the days of their lives and fill their homes. Keep away from them the temptation of the enemy. Grant them heavenly joy, free from trouble. Through the intercession of the lady of us all, and the pride of our race, the Lady, the Pure Virgin, the Holy Mother of Salvation, Saint Mary, who is preferred over all mankind, and our preacher, the preacher of the land of Egypt, Saint Mark the Evangelist, the Apostle, and all the righteous martyrs and the holy apostles, and the saints of this place, Saint Baba Krullus and Habib Girgis, and the prayers of my brother, my fathers, and my brothers and sisters. I mean, make us to pray thankfully, our, our Father. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, die in the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Him be Christos, he suspends choice. Does he for us, Monte Curio, Clenati? Enopion, so Kyrie. Rose, come into your motto, Vovo, Amen.
Irini pasi Kitom nemma tisu Amin alleluia Zuk sabat rike Yoke Agyom nemma Tiken inka ike Sosion astonion Amin teno shevo Lengo emoji o bencho Sisos be Kresos ismo anarente Dve nemni maua Miviaru nemni siti Nemni semare Beknain ente kiri Oh, in September, Cleo, so Timono, one I nan, Yelay, so on Kiriyelay, so Kiriyev, Logi, so Nemin is more heroes, more heroes, he met on it, Coney Abel, go and be as more Christos Penoti, Amin, as a show. King of peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, forgive us our sins, yours in the power of the glory, majesty forever and ever. Amin, make us all worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Give us trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, thine kingdom. May the love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, our Lord. God and Savior, Jessica, the fellowship, the communion, the Holy Spirit be with you. You may depart in peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. <laughs> Be on me, 
in Oh, I'm